Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwamya Sha'ala, Kohalo Yimla Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwap that's out here sincerely keeping the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Um, and another update on what's popping over here, Lebanon and Israel, you know, of course, um, like a couple of days ago, two two or so days ago, three days ago or so, you know, um, Israel hit them boys with the exploding pagers. And um, I think injured maybe about 3,000 or so people, killed maybe about 10, 15, possibly, something to that extent. But, you know, now there's a retaliation. We already know it's going to turn up. So this is just pretty much just a uh, update on the turn up. It says breaking 150 rockets fired at Israel. Civilians flee to bomb shelters, right? And I'm telling you, man, these people are not the people, man. The, 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 those people that's over there claiming to be the holy people, those are not the people. They don't fit the prophecies, man. If they fit the prophecies, nothing like this will be even happening to them. It would be, <laughs> they would be at peace. All nations will be basically bowing to them. Because that's what's going to come for the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. These nations are going to come kneeling before us, man. Before our Lord, Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus, that these people don't even believe in. They don't even believe in the Bible. <laughs> you, you know, it, it's crazy. But let's play the video. You know, this is for um, educational purposes only. This is Fox News Live. Um, but I mean, you know, it's just, just going to give you a little bit of the rundown. The video is about... A little over 13 minutes, but we're only going to play a minute or so of it just to just, you know, get a little footage on it. So let's play. All of this information is still developing, but over a matter of a few hours, an estimated 150 rockets have been fired from Lebanon at northern Israel. The Israel Defense Force is urging residents in the north to stay near their bomb shelters, and this really just sort of uh, showing the escalation that is taking place between Israel and Hezbollah, all of course after we saw those explosions earlier on this week. That's what you're seeing uh, on the screen right there. Those were pager explosions uh, for pager that belong to Hezbollah terrorists, as well as explosions of walkie-talkies as well. A lot to discuss here, so I do want to bring in Javed Ali, an associate professor of practice here at the University of Michigan. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to join us and help kind of break this down. Of course, Josh. Always nice to be with you. All right, so first off, I do want to ask you overall your thoughts here as you hear 150 rockets there fired by uh, Hezbollah, presumably over there in Lebanon at northern Israel. I mean, that is a lot. It does show what appears to be an escalation. So, Josh, if these reports are true to your um, viewers and listeners, it does sound like a lot. But Hezbollah has also been trading rocket fire with Israel uh, on the northern border of Israel for almost a year now. So unfortunately, this is not new in the pattern of activity. The volume might be a little more significant, but even if it's 150, I mean, that is just scratching the surface of the inventory of these types of weapons that Hezbollah has. And I would have to believe that based on what Secretary General uh, Hassan Nasrallah said yesterday in the previous clip, um, went over some of those remarks, that this is just sending a message as well. But I don't believe that this is the retaliation that he warned about. This is just an opening salvo, so to speak. But Hezbollah has far, far more capability um, to threaten Israel and launch uh, these kind of attacks, but much bigger in scale and scope. Uh, so there's probably a lot going into this moment right now, but it, I, don't, I don't think it's the retaliation that Nasrallah uh, sort of suggested yesterday. And what you're looking at on your screen right now is a live look over the Israel-Lebanon border. It's a shot that we've shown a lot over the past several months as the situation has progressed between Israel and Hezbollah. I did want to ask you, you talked a little bit about that. I call it retaliation, but in reality, Israel has not claimed responsibility for the pager explosions or the walkie-talkie explosions, but Hezbollah has said they know Israel is responsible. What do we expect that any kind of quote-unquote retaliation could look like? Do we have any sort of idea? 
Well, even though Israel has not officially claimed responsibility, pretty much everybody outside of the Israeli government has um, sort of uh, uh, assumed that Israel is responsible or stated Israel is, is, has been responsible. And the fact that they did not use military weapons the way that they've been fighting the war against uh, Hamas in the Gaza Strip or even the operations they've conducted against um, um Hezbollah suggests that this was probably an intelligence-driven operation. Mossad would be sort of considered a covert uh, operation. Or co um. Okay, so, I mean, you get the, the picture here. You know, I don't want to go too far into it. But uh, these guys, man, you can clearly see this man right here. He's, he's choosing his words very wisely, you know, because, hey, if you're speaking out against the small hats, man, you, you know, uh, they, they, they definitely have the power to end your career. Why? Because they run most media. They run most, um, pretty much the world shit, for that matter. But, um, the thing of it is, is they're going to draw America into the bullshit. And all this elections, all this election stuff, it's a lot going on, man. whole lot going on right now. Matter of fact, I'm at the plantation right now, so I'm going to have to shoot a quick move real fast. Uh, so yeah, I just want to suggest uh, do a little something on this real quick. Um, well, let me get this one quick scripture. At least of the flock should draw them out, man. Jeremiah forty nine and twenty. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that He had taken against Edom. Those are Edomites that's over there in that land, claiming that they're the holy people and His purposes. That he hath pur purposed against the inhabitants of Taman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. So Israel, they're so called the, the elite, you know, they're the 2% of the population of the planet, they claim. And they are the least of the flock. And the Lord has made them small among the heathen. You know what I'm saying? Um, the scripture talks about how they are greatly despised. Let me see. So they're gonna draw America into this this um this thing, man. Uh, I want to see this over there. Ah. Let me just go to a Salakia. Let's see here. Let's start from verse 1, Obadiah 1 and 1, the vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh concerning Edom, we have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. So these nations are going to all be pulled into this, man. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. See? The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high. That saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? And that's mainly, you know what I'm saying, these these um, American Edomites. But those 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 Edomites run America. Those Edomites that's over in Israel, they run America. It's clear that they are the ones that's running the show. But they're going to get everybody pulled in. And it's prophetic, man. They, they, you know, that that's the area of the prophecies where, you know, where all this shit is going to go down before the Lord's coming, man. And we're, we're close. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, y'all better repent, man, because we're most definitely in the last days of this thing, man, and it's soon, man, it's soon to come. The Lord spoke of wars, rumors of wars. The disciples asked him what would be happening in the last days, and one of the things he spoke of was those wars, rumors of wars, and it's just going to escalate and escalate, and then, you know, I mean, there's still more prophecies to, to jump off, but if these things are happening like this, you got to understand that that Soon. Thing. Thing. Seventeen. No man will be able to buy or sell, save he that um had the mark or the number of his name, right? So I got to make a quick move here, real fast. Um, so I'm gonna end out there. Yeah, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Hey, keep your head on the swivel. The Lord said to watch and pray. He said to uh, measure thou the times diligently. 
And we're measuring the times through these types of stories, man. It's showing us that um, we're in the end because of the prophecies that are playing out right before our eyes, man. So with that, Shalom, the Bible ball.